And hit that subscribe button and and hit that bell. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is Phoenix 198720 here to bring you my latest episode on my Let's Talk About series. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the future for Nintendo. Yes, the future. I believe for the future of Nintendo, they're gonna continue to go the way of the hybrid console. It's working for them, it's going good, and it's selling consoles. I think they will be the next Samsung slash iPhone, where they just keep and continuing um, putting out the Nintendo Switch, but Nintendo Switch 2, Nintendo Switch 3, whatever they're going to call it. But I think they're going to stick with that. Because the latest thing that the biggest rumor is about right now is with the OLD switches, the docks. And I'm going to talk about the docks right now that there is technology inside the docks for the readiness of 4K. The current switch can't do any higher than 10, 1080p. They added Ethernet port, which is awesome. If you didn't have your Nintendo Switch hardwired, you get the OLED and you can actually hardwire nicely in there with the Ethernet port. But with the Ethernet port in there, I've also seen a change in Nintendo's way of delivering games. They're going the cloud base. And I think the cloud base is very, very smart for them. Because you're getting great quality games. When you have your Switch plugged in to the dock, then you're gonna have what, uh, the speeds of whatever your internet provider is. If it's one gigabyte download speed, 300 megabyte download speed, you know what I'm saying? You'll get the game super, super quickly and you will be able to play them. Yes, you won't be able to play them on the go and it probably won't run the greatest on a Nintendo Switch Lite that you can't dock. But just think about it, guys. You plug that in, you're seeing a pattern. If you pay attention, everything that's big name games are coming via the cloud. And it's going to be awesome. So I think Nintendo is going to come out with a, a better revised system. Yes, the technology is going to be probably a little bit older because it's the way Nintendo does it. But you're going to see probably their next console probably around the five six hundred dollar mark because they are banking on a lot of things. Cloud gaming. They are banking on their new on a new system that they are currently working on for virtual reality. They are banking on developers building their games. And yes, Nintendo is on the process of doing a 200 gigabyte cartridge. Right now, their limitation is 64 gigabyte cartridge, but they are working on it so they can get bigger games. So you have the option of buying the game or using the cloud service. But right now, they are really, really pushing their cloud service to get out there. They're also finding ways to expand their online system. And yes, I'm going to see over the next five years, you're going to see the, that price creep up since they are doing expansions, which is awesome. Which, if they do it properly, their expansions are going to cost not that much to go up because the amount of gains on there. And if you take the prices of the games that sell at on eBay, pawn shops, Kijiji, and crap like that, some of their games still, even news, go for a decent price. So they give us eight games off the bat, and if you go with used price, $30 a pop per game, well, that's a decent amount. That's, that's a good uh, $240 that they're giving you in game-wise. Sorry, I had to do math in my head. 
but that's two hundred and forty dollars of games she's getting. Now the Sega Genesis uh, app, you're probably getting about a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars worth of games right off the bat, and then they're gonna keep adding to it. And now they got their special controllers are coming out, so you can feel how it was to play the original systems. NES, they got a Super NES controller, they got an NES controller, N64 controller, they got a, a Sega Genesis controller, all available to buy off their own website. If you're an Nintendo Switch Online person, member, then you can go get them. And you're going to have access to the services anyways, so why not? Why not pay the whatever the price is going to be? I live in Canada, so the price is going to be higher than anywhere else in probably the world. But they're making it so you can also play old school style, or if you want to just keep the Joy Cons or the Pro Controllers, you can still play with those. But if you're an old school, old school gamer like I am, you're going to probably reach out and buy. And I mean, you're going to reach out and buy those controllers so you can feel how you were when you were younger, as a kid, when you were playing the N64, when you were playing the Sega Genesis. You'll have that realistic feel in your hand, the realistic controller at that time, which I'm not complaining at all because Ocarina of Time coming out for the Nintendo 64 online expansion, well, Shit, playing that on the 64 controller, it's gonna be a lot easier. Because I find the new controllers today, they're they're too sensitive. But Nintendo's got a lot of things coming, and I think they're playing their cards properly. And with the new president of Nintendo and his investors, I think they're getting on a page that they're gonna they're gonna play ball a different way, and they're gonna start making an impact on bigger consoles now we're not going to touch the pc we all going to know that pc upgraded cheaply and you're going to have a powerful system you're not going to no console is going to keep up with the pc i don't care if they people say they can't know it's impossible pc is powerful we're going to leave it at that but you're going to see a lot of things come from nintendo and i think you're going to see a lot of apps start appearing up here soon maybe not on this current switch but on other current switches like that and um it's gonna be fun it's gonna be energetic it's gonna be awesome and i think nintendo is doing the greatest thing ever and they're really 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 working hard to bring the future to us because hybrid gaming is probably one of the best choices out there because you can play on the go, you can play it on TV, you can do a lot of things, a lot, a lot of things, and it's awesome. And I think that their way they're gonna approach everything is in the cards that is gonna be placed nicely, and they're gonna come out with that four of a kind or that royal flush just to win. Because I, they've been dealing and keeping their cards nice and close to their chest, and they're really, really not giving up too much information. They want the consumer to feel the intensity of when they lay their card down one by one. And they're doing awesome. Now, I know there's a lot of complaints with the OLED switch since it's the same guts underneath this new screen, but it's a step in the right direction. And it's going to be a bigger step here soon when we get the announcement in 2000, late 2022-2023 about the upcoming console. We all know that's coming. And we all know that that's going to be awesome. So, what are your guys' thoughts? Is Nintendo slowly taking the right baby steps to get where they need to be? Or are those baby steps way too far behind the rest of them. I think that they're right on pace. I wish they would do a little bit of more walking than baby steps because they can pound out. They got the games. They got the developers on their side. And they're pushing for a lot of different things. They're pushing for cloud gaming. They're pushing for better system. They're pushing 
for unique ways to play. And we're going to find unique ways to play. And they're going to add that on there. They tried a couple times this year with a unique way to play in there. Some of them panned out and some of them didn't. But it's all always going to be trial and error. What works, works, and they'll run with it. What doesn't work, they'll not pay attention to it. And they'll come up with a different thing in a different way. So, I want you to hit me down below. I want you to leave that comment. I want to, th I want to know what your theories, what your thing, and how you want to see Nintendo do. Until further ado, this is Phoenix198720 saying I hope you guys have a good morning, a good evening, and a good afternoon. Peace.